Have you ever found yourself eating gluten-free pancakes in a state of disappointment, desperation, even despair? Hi, I'm Mark Hallijane, certified gluten-free pancake expert, and I'm here to solve your problems. Now you may ask, Mark, how can we trust you? How do we know that what you're telling us is legit? Because I'm one of you. Do you think the road to becoming a certified expert was a happy one? No. It's more like the Oregon Trail. I lost friends, I lost family, but only one thing mattered, finding that right pancake. And now the time has come to share that pancake with you, free of charge, no monetary cost to you. The only thing you must do, subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, comment, turn on the notifications bell. That's it. That's all I'm asking. All right. Now let's get into this very complex, very detailed recipe for the best gluten-free pancakes that you'll ever have. That's right, it comes from a box. Five simple steps. One, whisk. Two, preheat the griddle, that's not even a step. Three, scoop some batter. Four, cook. Five, flip which is, that's still cook, that's also cook. So really we're working with three steps here. All right, first thing to address, we have a little bit of uh, discontinuity in the story because I was in desperate need of a haircut when I shot the cooking sequence uh, that you already watched. And then it's been about a week and I managed to get a haircut during that time. So yes, I looked stupid then. I look marginally better now. Um, my hair looks significantly better so, you know, uh, big ups to, to the new barber. But yeah, so the pancakes, they come from a box. Look, I'm sure that there are some really good pancakes that you can make from scratch, gluten-free, uh, and I'm definitely gonna keep trying more and more of those, but I, I had tried some. And I, you know, I joke about being a, a, a certified gluten-free pancake expert because I actually had tried like probably 20 different varieties of gluten-free pancakes whether they be from boxes you know big brands small brands store brands uh or even from scratch like i, I had tried a bunch i was always underwhelmed i started to rationalize you know my standards got lower and lower as i tried more and more because i was like oh well, these are better than those other ones uh but my wife was pretty much always my north star uh keeping me in check and, and not necessarily in the most gentle way. You know, she did not mince words about how how just bad, how, how bad the pancakes were consistently. Like Saturday, Sunday mornings, I, I like to have like a kind of a more special breakfast, you know, like a, a brunch and you make, you know, pancakes or waffles or, you know, bacon, like, you know, more than just like the oatmeal or the cereal that you're eating on, on Monday to Friday. But my wife, I, I think was, I think she was ready to leave me. Like, I, I think we were on the brink of like relational disaster because Saturday mornings, you know, here comes Mark busting out a new, a new type of pancake uh, that tastes like cardboard, styrofoam, you know, no, nothing good going on here. So we were on the brink of disaster. And that's when I came across King Arthur of all, of all companies, King Arthur, gluten-free pancake mix and I said fine I'll try another one and, and honestly at this point I wasn't even making them 
for my wife anymore. I would, I would wake up earlier than her, make pancakes for myself so that I didn't disappoint her. And then just whenever she woke up, I would, you know, we'd have something else for her. Um, so I was just resorted to like, to pancake solitude. You know, I was just like by myself. I'm not going to let anybody else down with these pancakes. So it's a Saturday morning. I, I had, I bought these, the, the King Arthur pancakes. I bring it home and I make it. And I, I took the first bite and I, I kid you not, I ran upstairs. I woke up my wife from her slumber, from, you know, Sleeping Beauty's slumber. I woke her up. I was like, baby, you have to try this pancake, right? Because like, you have to try this pancake. Like, I know that you're sleeping and you're mad at me, you know, right now in this moment, but I promise you if you take a bite of this pancake, I, I promise you that, that you will forgive me. I had this moment of just like major stress as she's biting the pancake and starting to chew. And I'm like, I'm like, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I have the horrible standard for pancakes now. She's gonna tell me that like, it's still just not good. And it's gonna be the final straw. A quick intermission here. Actually, we're doing super great. We've been super great for the, our three years of marriage. Uh, we're very happy. So, you know, the, it's, it's dramatization. Uh, I don't want to throw my wife under the bus. It's dramatization. But she was very unhappy with my pancake situation. Back to the programming. So, like, she actually loved it. And then I started making those pancakes, like, every other day. It was just, like, Pancake Tuesday, Pancake Thursday. You know, eat, even days are pancake days. Yeah, man. So, like, I know it's just a big name brand and it, it's just, it's from a box and whatever. But, like, man, I promise you try these pancakes out they're so good they're pretty expensive i think you know just like compared to normal pancakes they're more than normal pancakes but like man they are so good all right so you're watching this video now on how i made these pancakes later this week i'm shooting a video with a couple guys who are going to come here and i'm going to make these pancakes and then i'm going to make aunt jemima normal gluten full full of gluten pancakes and they're gonna do a blind taste test. Uh, they're gonna each get one of the pancakes and they're gonna to try to, to guess which one is the gluten-free one and they're gonna tell me which one is better while they're blindfolded. And I'm, I'm actually curious to see how well the gluten-free one stands up to just a regular Aunt Jemima. Um, I'm, I'm really interested to see how that goes. I, I might be naive, but I think it will actually be tough for them to determine which is which. So be on the lookout for that video. Um, that's gonna be good stuff. Yeah, that's it. Um, I would encourage you to try these pancakes. If you guys have other pancakes that you've tried and, and you like, please send them my way. You know, I'm, I'm definitely open to trying more, uh, especially if it's, a, if it's a from scratch recipe that's really good like that. I'd be more inclined to give that a shot and to trust that that's gonna be good. Um, actually try my pancakes first because i don't want you guys just sending me pancakes that are worse than my pancakes so try these pancakes first and then if you think that your pancakes are better than these king arthur gluten-free pancakes then send it to me because if you think it's better i would love to try it i would love to try it and maybe i'll even make a video about it um, if you're interested in this type of content, if you need gluten-free ideas, recipes, inspiration, please subscribe. Um, once a week, every Tuesday, I'm going to be putting out a video. Um, I'm going to try to get my videos more and more descriptive, like with my own recipes. I have a lot of stuff, but you know, I'm really just trying to get this channel off the ground. So I've just been trying to make videos um, that aren't too hard to make. But I'm going to be putting more videos that are my own recipes or recipes from other bloggers that I can you know, just show you how I made them and any tweaks that I made and link off to their recipe and give them credit. Um, yeah, I, I think if you follow this channel and, and even like give me suggestions on the type of content you want to see, I think it'll be of, of a lot of value to, to you. Uh, that's my hope. So please give me feedback. Please subscribe. Um, and I'll see you in the next video.